and welcome joining us for the World Racing News. In our episode 2, we will be discussing the big day happening in Hong Kong. Although this is not going to be the biggest race happening that day from Hong Kong, we're going to be previewing Hong Kong Chairman Sprint Prize. To deliver this news, my name is Joe and next to me is Alistair Middleton. Always the same guy, isn't it? It is indeed. And yes, you're absolutely right. The Chairman Sprint Prize may not even be the biggest race of the day this coming Sunday in Hong Kong, but the Sprint Division is of interest to Korean racing fans. Obviously, we have a strong Sprint Division of our own, including the Korea Sprint. And Hong Kong Speed Division is one of the best in the world. The Hong Kong Chairman Sprint Prize became international race since 2016, and Korea Sprint, our international race, also started in 2016. And we can't help to forget this horse who won that first Korea Sprint, which is Super Jockey. Yeah, fantastic front-running performance by Super Jockey under Karis back in back in 2016 at Seoul. And Hong Kong horses have come back uh, to have a go since none of them have quite scaled the heights of what Super Jockey did, but all have been competitive. And also, needlessly to say, we had many horses uh, coming to Korea to compete. And last year, Computer Patch, who was second in this Hong Kong Chairman's Sprint, came to Korea to run Korea Sprint and was fifth at it. Yeah, ran very well on the day as, as well. Right. So we will now talk about last year's Hong Kong Chairman's Sprint Prize, which Wellington won. Wellington is going to be trying for the winning for the three times in a row. Yeah, Wellington looking to match a bit of history this Sunday. Only one horse has ever won the Chairman Sprint Prize in three consecutive years. That was quick and away all the way back between 1989 and 1991. Uh, so more than 30 years has passed since then. But Wellington has been on top of the sprint division for a long time in Hong Kong. He obviously won the International Hong Kong Sprint as well in December. Uh, he is absolutely top class. I just really want to see Wellington winning it for the three times. That's going to be historic actually to see a horse winning three times in a row in a prestigious race like this. We do have a rival for Wellington though. We have a very strong rival for Wellington as, as well and we'll have a very short price favourite as well. Look, Lucky Swainess has nine, usurped nine, Wellington nine, as Hong Kong's six. top sprinter. Uh, he confirmed this status with an easy win in Wellington the Group 2 Sprint Cup at Sha Tin earlier in, in April. Vincent that was his 11th Wellington win Wellington in 15 Wellington starts. Uh, his sixth in Hong Kong this season. He's won two Group 1s. Uh, he was slightly slowly away in the Sprint Cup mm. as well. He proved his versatility by, by still going away to win very comfortably. Right. And he's beaten Wellington three times in a row now. Right. So that's going to be a strong rival which Wellington has to overcome. And now we'll take a look at Alquas at Maiden on Dubai World Cup night. This is a race happened in Dubai. And in that race, two of the Hong Kong horses placed fourth and fifth. Yes, yeah, Sight Success and Duke Y. The uh, race at Maidan, the Alcoz, is run over the straight six furlongs. It can be a little bit of a lottery. The draw can play an important role. Uh, lots of factors come into play. A very, very difficult race. Uh, and both Hong Kong horses perform superbly in it. Uh, and I think they'll both be leading contenders for this. Uh, Duke Y, of course, uh, is trained by Pierre Ung, whose father, Peter, trained quick and away to win the German Sprint Prize oh. three years in a row. So there is some potential history there. Right. But uh, again, look, they're going to have to go some to be beating Lucky Sway Ness and Wellington. Right. There are several of the other international challengers, but it looks like it's going to be the home contenders mainly defending the home turf. Uh, but we're, we're now going to talk about Alastair's choices. Yeah, look, I, I can't oppose Lucky Swainess. I have to put Lucky Swainess on top here. I think he is going to win. I think he is the best sprinter uh, in Hong Kong, one of the best in the world right now. Uh, the second, going to take a chance with Duke Wai. I, I like the way this horse runs. I think he, he, he could still put in a very big run. I'm going to go... Uh, take a chance as well on Flaming Rib, the, uh, the British contender uh, in uh, third. Look, I know he didn't run very well in the Alcoz, but he was second at Royal Ascot in the Commonwealth Cup last summer. He won a Group 3 in Qatar as well, and I feel he could put in a big run. Okay, well, I'm going to be suggesting Wellington, who's going to be trying for the third time, winning at it. And also, another Hong Kong horse, success beats Su Kwai in the Alcoz, so I will be backing Sai success to combat Alistair's choices. And lastly, I, I want to back Japanese horse 
Aguri, who is competing here. Solo representation from Japan, and Japan horse has been winning the world racing at the moment. And this is a horse who was third in a Group One race in Japan. And if you are that that much capable at at a level of which um, all of those horses are winning world racing, I mean that's something. That's if you can place in a Group One, there right. you can place in a Group One anywhere. <laughs> yes. Yes. Lucky Swainess is going to be the obvious favorite and Wellington trying for the third time at it. It's going to be super interesting sprint event happening from Hong Kong. And we'll be back next month to preview another big race from around the world. Until then, from all of us in Korea, it's goodbye.